is uh, playing the, the various odd instruments. And, you know, I'll introduce you to all these instruments tonight. Uh, but one of them was the, the, the blues harp. And that's what you have. It's called the diatonic harmonica. Some people call it the uh, uh, tin sandwich or the uh, Mississippi saxophone. Uh, so it's it's a, it's a relatively it's a actually very simple instrument. It's actually really a folk instrument. The way that um, African Americans learned to play this instrument uh, in the 1800s into the uh, 1920s and 30s, where and where blues started to uh, find its voice in in the world. So that being said, what we're going to do here is I'm going to teach you how to give you a, a quick lesson on the harmonica, and I'm going to teach you a tune that you're going to play with the band on our last piece for our first set, and that's actually called The Oceans, and it's on the back of this. But let me, let me show you how this thing works. So a couple, uh, a couple rules. Uh, you don't want to drink soda. Uh, or go to the beach with a harmonica because the minute you get sand in there, it's dead. And the minute that you uh, drink some sugar or don't eat spaghetti sauce, things like that, because it's just going to go in there and clog up because what's inside are these little reeds that vibrate. So once food gets trapped in there, uh, say goodbye to this one and buy a new one. Um, so this is a uh, harmonica diatonic harmonic and the key of C. And uh, it's very, very simple to play. If you, you hold it in your left hand and you hold it between your thumb and first finger like this, because uh, eventually when you become famous, you'll want to hold the microphone on it like this. <laughs> and uh, you know, the funny thing is I, I hold a doctorate in music and I've studied all these things things and blah, 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 and I teach all this stuff. But it's like, this is something that you don't have to have any skill in music. In fact, most of the, the blues harmonica players that I've come across over the years, they, they, it's, it's so simple to play this that they don't have any musical training except that they've just sat and messed with this. Now, after, after we, we hang out tonight, you can actually go onto YouTube and type in harmonica lesson, and you'll find out that everybody in the world wants to show you how to play harmonica. It's so simple. So the first thing we just want to do is, uh, is just breathe in it. Harmonica is unique in that it's the only instrument that you blow and draw. So, you're, so you can actually play it constantly without stopping. Uh, so let's just try that. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but you can breathe in and breathe out. So just take a, a, a big mouthful and go. Right? And you don't have to play loud. You don't have to push hard because the louder you play, the you might break a reed and, and then you you be unhappy. So it's just, you just blow lightly. You don't, because if you blow too much, you might get dizzy. So we don't want that. Um, so here's the first thing. Um, can everybody roll their tongue like this? Some people can't. So, so if you can't, so if you roll your tongue, uh, I just want you to put your tongue, uh, so... First of all, you have to make sure you have it right side up. So the low note, the numbers go 1 to 10, and 10 goes, uh, 1 is to the left. So the low note is on the bottom. So if you can put your tongue on the bottom note and kind of curl it around that note, so you just hear the one note, it sounds like this. So you're curling your tongue I, oh, and if you can't curl the tongue, then you have to uh, block this, block the air, block block the note between your upper lip and the bottom of the up and the, your tongue, like this. What's that? Yeah, you can touch the note because you want to you want to be able to feel those notes. So so it's like I'm going to do this, and I've done this before, but I can play individual notes like. That's just going to each note. 
all blowing. Okay, let's just try this. Everybody play the first note, which is a C. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Now let's go to the second note. So, okay, so uh, now we're going to play a chord. Uh, the, this instrument is interesting. It's uh, the African-American community kind of derived this, uh, a way of playing this and a play, playing the blues because this was like the only instrument they, that, was, that was attainable because it, it probably cost 10 cents back in the 1920s as compared to buying a new trombone or a trumpet or whatever. So they figured out a form of music that I think, I postulate as an academic that this is where the blues comes from. But uh, we'll get to that a little later. But the first thing I want to do is let's play two notes now. You want to blow in holes one and two only. So you want to widen your tongue a little bit and it sounds like this. Okay, now let's try three. Okay, let's play uh, the three notes again, but we're going to blow this way, and then when I do this, you draw. So. Good, it's relaxing, right? This is group therapy. Group therapy here. Okay. So now I want you to say the word tuku, tuku, tuku. So when you say that in the harmonic, it sounds like this. Well, you don't actually say tuku, you just say tuku, 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 tuku. So, and then, and then draw. So, so this is where practice comes in because you can do this. So that's kind of like the wow, right? There you go. So I'm just going tuka 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 tuka. So part of this is you, ha you start to develop your, uh, your stomach muscle, it's, or the diaphragm, as soon as you're going. <laughs> okay, so, um, so you can actually, uh, this is, so this is what's called is the, 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 the train whistle. not so hard, <laughs> right? Yes, question. Well, when, 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 you, when you're trying to get those individual notes, and we're going to work on that, because I mean, you guys are going to try to play a song with us at the end of the first set. And um, so otherwise, if you want to get a chord, 
And the chord is what I was just playing, like maybe three of those holes, first three holes. I have my tongue really back, and I'm just, I'm just closing, I'm just closing my mouth over the harp so no air comes out. Okay, let's just do a, some breathing. Let's breathe with me. Let's see if, if we can do like group breathing. I'll do like. Okay, don't get lightheaded. Good. How's it feel? It's fun, right? It's it's relaxing, and and so I actually did a concert with this music uh, in Washington Square Park for the International Day of Peace last year uh, for the UN, and we had 500 harmonica players. Yeah, it was really fun. So uh, let me just play a little bit, and then I'll then I will come back and I'll show you how we do these things. So this is the blues. <laughs> So by the end of the night, you may me not do that yet, but uh, <laughs> but so this is this is the important thing is is um, think of this is in like all things that we're going to talk about tonight is music is is not so much difficult. You say, oh, that's hard. I can't do that. Don't think of something as being difficult, but it's actually just unfamiliar because. A lot of things that are familiar, it's, oh, this piece of cake, like driving a car. Remember when you first had to learn how to drive a car? It's like nervous. But now most people drive and they're eating a slice of pizza and a hot cup of coffee at the same time, driving 90 miles. So so it's it's just about uh, the process of, of uh, figuring out the, the smallest task and just learning from that. So now... Um, we want to look at this sheet. Look at the, this is a very, well, it's kind of a simple tune. It's actually a nice, nice jazzy type tune called The Oceans. And I called it The Oceans because when we all play together, it sounds like this big ebb and flow thing. So the, the, the tricky part here is uh, you have um, uh, at letter A, you have uh, the, the note B, which you may or may not read music, but that's okay. But there's a three in front of it, and there's a three with an arrow going up. And that means find the third blowhole and draw. <sighs> right? So, so you got to so find it with your tongue. So, if it's, so fing, tongue the first note, one, two, and count over three. <laughs> Everybody got it? It's it's three hole draw or suck. Th third hole. So the next note's easy, it's just third hole blow. And then so again, you have to consider inside of your mouth, you're moving from one note to the next note to the next note. And so you're just going from third note to the fourth note. So you're going third note draw, third note blow, fourth note blow. And it sounds like this. It's actually very simple. And it's very, very small in your mouth. So... 
You know what? You remember when, when you first started using a spoon to eat cereal? It's like you probably s dribbled cereal all over your face. But now you don't even think about it. It's a bullseye every time. <laughs> Right? And the same thing happens with this. It's like after a while, it's you don't think about it. You just it you just have to practice. Draw, draw, three jaw, three blow, four blow. Now each of you I'm gonna I'm gonna have everyone come up to the front of the stage and play individually, so <laughs> okay, who's who can do that those first three notes? Yeah, okay. Okay, it's pretty good, but you gotta get your tongue around each note so that it's an individual note like this. So look so look what I'm doing. It's a very it's a very small airstream. Think of this as simple. Don't think of this as rocket science. It's really easy. Does anybody have it? Yes. Okay. Hold on a second. We have our next victim over here. You have it? Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Whoops. Not bad. You gotta try it here. Well, I'll just let you practice for, for two minutes. So you wanna try to make sure that you just bubble ba. Oh, yes, question. Hold on one second. You drop. Yep. It's like eat, eat spaghetti. Down. Down is, yep, blow. What's that? The fr well, uh, if you look at letter A there, the first note, it says three. Do you have, do you have this? Yeah. Okay, so the first one says note three. So you got to find note three, and then you have to draw. Okay, let's just hear. Oh yes, question. You don't have to. Well, you don't move the tongue as much as you you, you keep your head, and then you move this. But but you you realize that it's it's not very far. So, but it's okay because I uh, you know. This is something they call this your uh, your pocket pal. This is like your pocket instrument. You can once you start playing this and and uh, by the way, you get to keep these harmonicas. And the other thing is, you don't want to share your harmonica with somebody because that's uh, it's untidy. So, yes. Okay, but there's the, but there's two threes, uh, but one three uh, draws.
I hear it. Good. Very good. Very good. You can play a tune like this. I'm getting the individual ones because I'm taking my tongue, which is normally flat, and I'm curling the like this. Like uh, some people can't roll their tongue. <laughs> it's a genetic thing. What's that? Does that mean they can never? Learn? No, there's just another way that instead of curling your tongue, you you uh, make that little aperture between your tongue and your upper lip like this, as compared to. So, sorry for the tongue thing, but this is, this is how we roll around here. See? Good. All right, let's just play. All right, hold on one second here. All right, I'm the conductor now. So, let's see if we can get unison. Uh, uh, we're going to blow third hole, draw third hole. It sounds like this. If that's all you can play, you're doing well. Because now check this out. Uh, there's this is where the blues comes in because this is a very limited instrument. It doesn't have all the notes of a piano. It doesn't have chromatic notes because it sounds like this. If I could play every note, so in in the blues, the blues people had to figure out a note that was somewhere in the middle. And this is why I say this is the essence of the blues, because that note they found, and it's called bending a blue note. Let me show you what that sounds like. So this is, this is just hole three, blow. But if I draw, That is the blues. That doesn't come from Western music. That comes all the way from Africa and, and the Deep South and, and finding these pictures. So this is what makes, so when we hear a blues guitar, I think it came from the harmonica. So listen to this. say by the end of the night you'll be able to play that? No. <laughs> okay, you will. You will. You, I have faith in you guys. So, how am I doing that? I don't know. How, how's that? Is it so, it's not impossible, but it's, it's a folk instrument, and it's like you have to play it long enough that you just kind of figure it out. So, what I'm making in my, in my, in my inside of my mouth that you can't see is like a wah-wah, wah-wah-wah. So check this. And I'm kind of closing off the hole when I draw. This has to happen on the three draw. Anybody getting lightheaded here? Lightheaded? Oh, good. Okay. Can anybody make the blues sound? Oh, yes? Okay. Oh, hold on a second. That's not bad. Uh, oh, good, good. Now, now let's try to really bend that line. Like, wow, it's almost like a, uh, like a train. 
ไม่สามีว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวว้า
It's only been a half hour, right? You're already a professional. Thank okay. You, Did you want to try it? Okay, hold on one second. Well, I don't have a cable on it. That was good. If that's all you guys learn tonight and you practice that, you know, it's, it's, it's really fun. And, you know, music's supposed to be fun. Now, let's go back to this tune because you guys are going to play this with me tonight. So we're going to go, uh, it's three draw, three blow, four blow, three draw, three blow. So it's only those two notes. I know it's a lot, but it's not so much. All right, no yawning here, no yawning. Where's your harmonica? Oh, you got your harmonica, okay. If we could just get through the first part of this tune, I think that's all you guys will need to play tonight, and that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what, as you're playing, listen to how harmonious this sounds in the room. It's really cool. Anybody else want to come down and play that into the mic? <laughs> you know what, I, I, I was here in, in this spot uh, last year, and we had about 150 kids from the inner city, and, uh, and they're all, a bunch of them came in with their hoodies on, I ain't doing this. And then after about 45 minutes, they all, they, I made them all come down and play on the microphone. And it was so empowering for them because we pulled each one out from the pack. And at the end, there was one kid that said, that was had the hoodie on, I aren't doing this. And it's like, oh my God, this was the greatest thing I've ever done. <laughs> so and that's the power of music. Um, okay, who has a question? Yes. Is it originally a German instrument? I, I, yeah, that's what, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I, I believe it is German. Um, some people will say that, oh, uh, Ben Franklin just uh, invented it, and I, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, the glass harmonica, so that's the confusion. So it is German, and somehow, it probably got over here, um, if you want a brief history lesson, uh, in uh, in New Orleans, in after does anybody know what happened in in 1801 in America? In, that was way before the uh, 18, War of 1812. That was well, 1801 was before 1812. That's yes. What I'm saying. Way before. <laughs> now this is when Thomas Jefferson purchased President Jefferson purchased uh, the, the region of territory of Louisiana called the Louisiana Purchase. 
And uh, that opened up New Orleans is the, is the major seaport for the United States. And once it was opened, it was uh, all these people from Germany and Italy and France, and well, the French had already been here, but also from the Caribbean and South America. So this is why they call uh, like New Orleans the melting pot for this early music, because it brought the German harmonica in, and, um, and, and it also included uh, uh, f like, uh, slaves and free uh, African Americans. Um, it was it was open so that there was less. It was less um, like the original thirteen colonies that were uh, had the same religious concentration. Uh, whereas New Orleans, does anybody know? The French were Catholic, right? So they had a kind of a different approach to what was going on. And, uh, but this whole region, anybody, I, I always describe, I teach jazz history, I always describe uh, history in movies. And there was a, uh, what was the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he's a, he's a uh, beaver pelts trapper? Uh, the Remnant, Revenant. And that's what that region was like. So you can imagine, it's like, it's totally out of control and people, making their way, playing music however they could play it. And, and so you have to think about the, the early origins of all these instruments and how music was developed some, from such raw and disconnected uh, uh, opportunities with these instruments showing up and stringed instruments and the banjo being invented down there. And so, but if you if you picture the the movies like that, it's like getting mauled by a bear. Don't don't think about that one. That was in that movie, but it's like it was rough. It, it, it's interesting because where I teach in Greenwich Village at our campus at NYU, I say, um, you know, there's all these people that made their 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 gazillions of dollars, and one of those people there's a there's a street there's a corner called Astor Place. Does anybody know how the Astor family made their money? Playing harmonica, yes. <laughs> huh? They were they were beaver fur trappers, and so beaver fur. All these people, like in that movie Revenant, it's like they were out in the middle of nowhere trying to trap beaver furs because those were a lot of money to be made in beaver pelts and coats. So um, if you're ever in New York and you're at the Astor Place subway, you'll see these mosaic tiles on the walls, and they're beavers. And it's like, well, that's their whole family. Imagine making your fortune on beaver pelts now. I don't, I don't know. So, but anyway, it's it's interesting how all these instruments, they come from somewhere, uh, but they're adopted or adapted uh, to the people that are living where, wherever they show up. So, so this is this. I, for me, this is a really important instrument that. Uh, we're not done with the lesson yet because we have to we have to try to at least play the first part of this tune and then there's a reception out here a question well again it was an easy instrument to carry on the range to carry in your sat back saddle bag you know, they said that Abe Lincoln carried a harmonica with him. and But it's so easy to, this is like a your pocket instrument. And as long as you don't eat spaghetti sauce, you're, <laughs> you can keep it for a while. Um, so I, I just, I don't, one time. what? Oh yeah, let me play it one time through. So when we play it, at the end of our first set, we have two things for you tonight, and I'll explain all that in a minute. So the first thing is is gonna be uh, a thing called the One World Suite, which is which is a, our presentation on a positive message on, on being aware of the environment and climate change and all those things. So we figured as musicians and as teachers, we wanted to inspire our students that being musicians and artists also have a voice in politics and in, in, you know, since um, the 1960s with the wars and stuff, music hasn't been so politicized. So now we think, well, let's let's join in, let's let's use our voice and and there'll be more on that when we get into the performance. So 
Um, so the first part of this, so the good news is we're finished this in a couple of minutes, and then there's going to be a lovely reception outside uh, where you can relax for a minute, and then we'll come back in here. And we have two things. We have a, about a half an hour set of the One World Suite where I'll play all these instruments. And then the second half is really an extra special moment because I brought uh, one of the great saxophone players from Los Angeles to play with us tonight, and his name's Tom Scott. And if you know, does anybody know that name? Tom Scott in the, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s was one of the most famous saxophonists, and his story is unbelievable. And let me just tell you a few things. Um, when he was studying music um, in L.A., he, uh, his, his father was a, a film scorer, so he had early interests in music, but he made all these connections, like um, he wanted to learn how to play the Indian tabla, so he studies it at UCLA. And the tabla master says, you know what, I really like you. I'd like to introduce you to my other student. And the other student turned out to be George Harrison. Mm -hmm. And so Tom and George became buddies. And then he invited him to move to England to help him produce records. And then around that same time, he started a group called the LA Express that uh, uh, a singer named Joni Mitchell decided she wanted to work with them. So it was Tom Scott, the LA Express featuring Joni Mitchell. And then Tom was uh, became known as like one of the top studio guys in LA, and he was on over 500 records, pop records, and he's the saxophonist on uh, Carol King's Jazz Band, and Whitney Houston Saving All My Love for You, and um, the group Wings, Paul McCartney's group. There's a tune called uh, Do Like the Man Says. And I mean, we can go after tune after tune after tune after tune after tune, and this guy did it all. So, and and he's such a positive light that we've asked him to join us to play our music for the first set, and then the second set, it's going to be Tom's music that you'll recognize some of the pieces. So I, I hope you enjoy because we went I went through some extra effort to bring Tom in from Los Angeles today, Yay. and. Uh, You've chosen wisely tonight. So, what's that? Well, he's playing the alto, the soprano, and the tenor sax, and the clarinet tonight. Not all together, but uh, consecutively. Yes? Have there been popular songs that use harmonicas? That Oh yeah, there's uh, Springsteen, um, Bob Dylan, uh, Stevie Wonder. So I have another instrument that I play called the chromatic harmonica, which I'm going to play for you tonight in the set. And that's a little trickier because that gives you all 12 notes. And I'm, I'm really a saxophonist, but uh, through necessity, I'll tell you that uh, I'm, I'm really fortunate to be the director of jazz studies at, at NYU in Greenwich Village, where we're surrounded by all the, all the great jazz clubs, and, and everybody lives there. So I've hired all these super famous people to be on my faculty, and all, these, all my favorite saxophone players are on my faculty. But So I'm thinking, well, I'm, I'm paying these guys to just play with students. And I'm, I'm an academic. I have to, I have to just fill out the paperwork all day and do things like that. So I decided the only way I can compete with them is if I play instruments that they would never attempt, <laughs> right? And so, the, and even Tom, I'm playing all the instruments that Tom's not playing. So tonight I'm going to play. Um, this this is called. I'm not going to play them for you now. I don't want to. I don't want you to. Uh, Learn to this is this is an alto clarinet. Um, if you played this in high school, you were considered a nerd. But I found it, and it has beautiful sound. So this is one instrument, and um, where's my other stuff? Oh, um, I'm going to play the piccolo flute, which is a baby tiny flute, the chromatic harmonica, which is a little bigger than the blues harp. This is 
uh, not a, sa a soprano saxophone, but smaller. It's called a sopranino saxophone. And in this one, I picked up in Mongolia when my group had the opportunity to play with the Mongolia National Symphony. And this is called, <coughs> this is made out of an antelope horn. It kind of plays like a saxophone, but not really. And once, when somebody says, "What does that sound like?" and and some people say, "It looks like the Jewish shofar," and I said, "Well, it's not, but it's close. If you, I'd call it the shofar show good." <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's really. Uh, somebody said, "What's this sound like?" I said, "Well, when I play it, it's kind of a combination between Stan Getz." and Genghis Khan. <laughs> so you'll hear this later tonight. But it turns out that I'm the only person, not only in the Western Hemisphere, but outside of Mongolia that actually plays this instrument. So I hope you enjoy that. And uh, oh, you got to wait, sorry. Because <laughs> you might just, oh, I heard the sound, I'm going home. So uh, do we have any other questions? So we've really prepared for you guys tonight, and it's such a pleasure that I'm so happy that all of you have come and you wanted to learn harmonica. But remember, if you keep practicing this, if you want some tips, just go to uh, the website. Or actually, if you go to my website that's called theoneworldsuite.org, there's videos of me showing you how to play the, this, this song. Okay, so um, uh, let me play it for you. So it goes like this. But, so, you know what, even if you can't get through it tonight, you can still noodle around while we play, and it'll sound good. <laughs> and, and, because we're gonna be accompanied by the whole band. Okay, and, uh, so, let's see. Plus so, it's in the key of C. It's in the key of C. <laughs> the oceans are in the key of C, too. Great, does anybody have any other questions? With the ABC here? Uh -huh. Oh, that just means that section A, section B, and section C. So if you're not good at reading music. So the, what I hope is, is we, we've been playing this enough, and maybe uh, my group will play in a jazz club somewhere, and, and the people will come, and they'll know that the last tune of the night that we play is going to be the oceans, and they, they brought their harmonica, and they practice, and they play along with us. I mean, how many times have you gone to a concert, and they ask you to pull out your harmonica and play with it? <laughs> so it, it works. This one works, because it's just a little cheapo instrument, and it's easy. So I think it's time to go and get some some libations and some finger food, and then we'll see you back here at 8 o'clock. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. That's incredible. I'll give you my business card. Oh.